This next clip, you don't have any papers, you didn't have any sent to you, but I want to talk about preparing for an interview, what you need to do, and then how to dress for that interview. When you have an interview scheduled, I want you to go online and I want you to Google the company you're interviewing with. Now, obviously, if you're interviewing at Kroger's, you don't need to. You know what they do. You know how they generate their income, what their business is. When you become an adult, it's not always the case. Right there next to Jones Middle School is a huge industrial park. There's a lot of big buildings that sit there, and all they have out front is the name of the business. That name doesn't necessarily tell you what they do, but you need to know what a business does to generate their income and to come up with some kind of a basic knowledge so when that comes up in the interview, you can talk about it. More preparing for an interview. Don't be surprised when you walk into an interview if there's more than one person sitting there. Today, more and more companies, they're putting three, four, even five people to interview one person. When that happens, don't let it throw you for a loop. I know years ago, 20 years ago, I've been doing what I do now for 20 years. When I walked into the room, there were seven people sitting around a table to interview me. If I had been fresh out of college or fresh out of school, I probably would have been scared to death. Uh, I had a little age on me at the time though. I, I, I've had a little experience. I didn't let it bother me. So you can't let it bother you. The thing about having different interviewers in one interview, they're all gonna ask you questions differently. And you need to not focus on one individual. If you've got three people sitting out here in front of you, this one asks the question, your tendency is going to be to focus on that person while you're answering the question, but don't ignore these other two people. So you keep eye contact going, looking at who you need to be talking to. Eye contact's important. Okay? Let's talk about how to dress. It's the day of the interview. Don't wait till that day to lay your clothes out that you want to wear for an interview. For part-time jobs, for jobs that you may be going out within the next few months to look for, if all you have are blue jeans and tennis shoes to wear to an interview, that's fine. Make sure they're clean. Make sure your jeans don't have holes in them. I know some of you all go out and spend a lot of money to buy a brand new pair of jeans that are full of holes. Don't wear those to an interview. Gentlemen, you need to wear a shirt that has a collar. Okay? You need a collar. That tells you, that should tell you t-shirts and hoodies are out. Do not wear a t-shirt or a hoodie to an interview. So you need a button down with a collar. Now it doesn't have to be a complete button down. It can be what's called a polo shirt that's got two or three buttons, stops here. You just want to look nice. Ladies, you want to make sure you dress to where you're not showing a lot of skin. Okay? If you're going to wear a sleeveless top, be sure to put some kind of covering over. Um, rules are different for full-time employment. You need to dress up a little more. Generally speaking, you want a pair of guys, your basic wear, pair of dockers, shoes that are not tennis shoes. They don't have to be full-blown dress shoes, but they need to be a little nicer pair of shoes. You want the shirt with a collar on it that you can tuck in. Ladies, you want either a, a dress, a skirt, a pantsuit, a nice pair of pants, a nice top. You want to look good. When you do the research for where you're going to get your interview at, you might want to look up the dress code. That's how you should look at the interview. It lets the possible employer picture you on the job. If you're expected to dress up every day, gentlemen, in a shirt and tie to do the job, wear one to an interview. All right, now let's talk about accessories or things that, not the clothing part. Hair, make sure the hair is not covering your face. I don't have that problem. I don't have any hair. But I know some of you probably have hair that hangs over your face. You wanna get it out of your face. I wanna be able to look at you eye to eye. Jewelry, you all seen people that's had multiple piercings in an ear, okay? Understand, these people interviewing you are conservative by nature. Business owners, business managers, they're conservative. They're not gonna wanna see all this on your ear, so don't wear more than two piercings in your ear. 
Other piercings, if you have nose, cheek, tongue, lips, whatever, I don't care. That's your personal choice. Take them out though for the interview. Don't wear them. If any of you are thinking about getting tattoos, make sure you get them in an area that you can cover up. If you get them down here, if you get them all on your neck, there's a lot of places that won't hire you because of that look. They won't tell you that, but you're not gonna get the job. They don't like that look representing their business. If you want a tattoo on your arm, get it up here where a short sleeve shirt can cover it. No problem, okay? A lot of dress codes will say, no visible ink. Therefore, even if you get it down on the lower part of the arm, you're gonna to have to wear a long sleeve shirt all summer to go to work. So you wanna be careful with that. Uh, the gauges in the ears. I don't think they're as big now as they used to be, but if you're thinking about doing that, please, please make sure you're sure that that's what you want. Because if you get these put in, again, there's places that aren't gonna to wanna to hire you because of the look. Again, your choice, I'm not passing judgment. And to get this corrected, it's rather expensive to have corrective surgery once you get these gauges. Jewelry, uh, bracelets, loose watches. If I had an interview this afternoon, I would take my watch off because it's very loose. And when I move my arm, it tends to make a noise. So I would take that distraction off the table. I don't wanna distract them from being able to hear what I have to say. The same with multiple bracelets. If you put a bunch of bracelets on your arm and they're uh, a metal, if they're anything but, but uh, plastic, they're gonna make a noise when you move your arm. Let's go back to the ears. If you use big hoops or long danglies and you move your head, these things are gonna start doing a dance. I have seen people during interviews get so focused watching these earrings that they really don't pay attention to what you're saying. Shame on them for doing it, but shame on you for providing the distraction. So be conservative, be clean, be neat. That's, what, that's how you need to dress for an interview. Thank you.